Carl Goss. Hello, my name is Jaden Castro, and I'm going to be explaining my research on Carl Goss. He is sometimes called the greatest mathematician since antiquity. Carl Friedrich Goss was born on April 30, 1777, in Braunschweig, Germany, to two parents who were not the wealthiest, but cared very much about his success. He was an only child, and this allowed him to spend much time with his parents, and his devoted mother was able to pay much attention towards him while his father worked many jobs. Growing up, Carl always had a knack for math, and when he was seven years old, he started elementary school. Almost upon arrival, many people around him acknowledged his level of intelligence and potential. Some believe that his class was asked to find the sum of the integers beginning from 1 to 100, and he quickly came up and formulated that multiplying 100 by the sum of 100 plus 1 and then dividing that by 2 would solve the question. Because of this, he was noticed by many different mathematicians who would help him receive his degree. This is possible because of his parents putting in much effort to contribute to their son's potential by financing him, even with the little amount of money they had. At the age of 18, Carl began his time at Göttingen University, as you can see in this photo, under his supervisor, Kasner. He would later leave the school without receiving his diploma, but made an impact while he was there. Around the time Gauss left this university, he discovered the fundamental theorem of algebra, which involves the process of taking any polynomial and concluding that they will all share the same root of A plus BI. He received his degree from the University of Helmstedt, where he would meet and would continue to work with another highly intelligent mathematician, Farkas Boyer. Some of Carl's contemporaries were Gotthold Ellenstein, John Johann Franz Enk, Carl Wolfgang Benjamin, and many others. Around the age of 30, he became the director of Göttingen Observatory because of his continuous work on the orbit of the celestial bodies in space. While he was at the observatory, he invented the heliotrope, which is a device that reflects the sun's rays over a distance to mark the position of participants in a land survey. During his life, Gauss published many books and would help create and strengthen many ideas. He made many contributions to mathematics, such as Bode's Law, the Binomial Theorem, his work on the Prime Number Theorem, the Geometric Mean, and the Law of Quadratic Reciprocity, which are extremely important to modern-day discoveries and practices. His research on the theory of magnetism is still important and is shown regularly to this day. Carl made the statement, Mathematics is the queen of the sciences and number theory is the queen of mathematics. His Golden Jubilee Lecture at the age of 72 was renowned and is still referenced to as of this day. He is regarded as one of the most influential and greatest mathematicians of all time. He would eventually pass away at the age of 77 years old on February 23, 1855.